Okay, so my topic for this project is rock types that we can rock climb um, in the United States specifically. Um, so give you a little geology lesson here. Um, cool, but first I'm gonna kind of go over the three main categories of rocks, which will help you kind of understand um, rocks as a whole. So there are three types of rocks. I'm sure we've all learned this in elementary school, if not, um, pay attention, this is super important. So there are igneous rocks, sedimentary rocks, and metamorphic rocks. And these kind of go in a cycle, if you can imagine them. So igneous rocks, when the lava's in the ground, it shoots up and it, it kind of cools off, like cools or, or it doesn't make it to the surface and it cools underground. So the cooling and solidification of magma itself is an igneous rock. Um, and then over time, as those igneous rocks get weathered and sediments kind of go different places and that creates sedimentary rocks. So sedimentary rocks are sediments of rocks being laid on top of each other over and over and over again all over a very long period of time and that creates sedimentary rocks. And then we move to metamorphic rocks and metamorphic rocks are just sedimentary rocks that have basically been morphed and changed by pressure and temperature. So they've taken those, they've taken those, or the earth has taken those sedimentary rocks and kind of added temperature and pressure and kind of mushed and um, verified the layers. As you can see right here, um, this, these, these sediment, these lines are super, super straight, but over here they are kind of squiggly, which means, which is proof of temperature and pressure. Um, so these are the different rock categories. Cool, so uh, within those three categories, there are so, 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 so many different kinds of rocks. Um, but specifically for climbing, there are a few major ones. Um, and so this is kind of a, this is a wheel that shows all different types of um, rock that we climb with the greatest percentage all the way to the least. Um, and so these are no longer the categories of rocks. These are types of rocks within the categories. And you'll see that as I explain further on. So the greatest rock that I guess the, the one that we climb the most that has the most uh, rock that is climbable would be granite in the second and then with 34%. And then we go to sandstone with 26%, and then we go to basalt with 12%, gneiss, or gneiss, with 7%, quartzite with 7%, limestone with 5%, and then it kind of keeps going from there. Um, and the ones that I'm gonna cover today are granite, sandstone, and I'm actually gonna jump over here to limestone. Um, so yeah. Cool, so here's granite. These are at the top of each slide. There'll be three or two or three pictures. Um, and that's just kind of an example of if you were to find this type of rock on the ground, what it would look like. And that just kind of, I chose these pictures to kind of show you the variation of how all, yes, all rocks look different, but like literally the same rock can look different than um, another rock depending on the mineral makeup of it. It's pretty cool. So. Granite is an igneous rock, which means it is cooled from magma or lava, and it's made mostly of quartz and feldspar. So basically, it's super, kind of like super colorful and chunky, and kind of you see here, this one's super spotted. This is pretty spotted, this one kind of looks like salt and pepper. Um, granite is really, really hard. Um, it's pretty erosion resistant. And because of that, granite makes up a lot of our really, really large mountain, large, big wall climbs, big wall structures, because it is pretty much erosion resistant. Um, granite is pretty coarse, and when you climb, it's pretty tough on your skin, um, because it is, it's not fine, it's coarse. Um, but it's very, 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 very safe to climb on, because the bolts are really, really secure in the wall since it's such a hard rock um, and it's really safe for trad gear because it 
it, it's not a soft rock. It's like I said, it's a hard rock. I know, a soft rock. What is that? Um, but it's one of the harder ones. Um, and so your trad gear stays into the cracks and crevices better. Um, and sometimes your trad gear stays in too well and the rock decides to keep your trad gear because you can't get it out. Um, and so, yeah, that's granite. And there are some examples of granite. Um, these are two really well-known um, climbing spots. We've got Yosemite Valley and Joshua Tree. I've personally not been to any of them. It would be super cool though. Um, and so Yosemite Valley specifically is what I'm going to talk about. Yosemite was carved out by glaciers. Um, like the valley itself was carved out by glaciers over time. And so um, that's how we have these huge standing walls because the um, glacier carved out the valley and left these huge really hard granite walls um, which is super cool and so both of these are made up of granite and both of these are some really really popular um, climbing areas in the United States next is sandstone um, sandstone is sedimentary rock so imagine an igneous rock gets weathered and eroded and the sediments fly through the air and kind of land somewhere and then more land on top and more land on top and they just keep getting compacted on top of each other. Um, sandstone is typically a softer rock. I know, can rocks be soft? Yes, they can be soft. Um, and so sandstone actually erodes a lot easier than um, other rocks. Um, they, and I'm gonna kind of jump to the bottom. So sandstones soak up a lot of water because they can, they're can they more porous than say granite. And so you wanna wait a while to climb after it rains um, because the rocks can be slippery, wet, or it can actually compromise the um, hardness of the rock after rain just because it, the rock is really porous and soft. So sandstone can have some large cracks uh, it can have really large cracks or it can have some like really solid jugs and really solid holds. Um, and also sandstone is sharp um, since if you imagine like sand and hard particles um, this rock, I don't know if you guys can tell but you can look in your, the PowerPoint that I uh, give you a link to. This is really, um, it's really rough and made with like a lot of really sharp particles. So the sandstone is really sharp but it has really really great friction. Um, the sandstone does. So that is a plus to climbing sandstone. Um, two, exam two examples are Sand Rock, Alabama, and the Garden of the Gods in Colorado Springs. Colorado, obviously. Um, I have personally actually been to both of these places. Um, I actually took this picture, um, and I didn't take any of these pictures. I have pictures. I don't know why I didn't put them up there. So Sand Rock, Alabama is where... Um, immersion goes to go rock climbing or immersion tries to go to go rock climbing um, and yeah so that this is kind of hitting home this hits home for some NGU Adele people um, and Garden of the Gods we don't go rock climbing there but it's a really beautiful place um, and so if you'll notice in both of these pictures that they there's they're just kind of like random rocks everywhere that's what I, I kind of think of it um, there's like a crack right here in this picture that looks like you can kind of go, you can walk inside, and I've been to Sand Rock, and I know that you can walk inside some cracks and um, crevices within the rock, and then all the definition in this just provides some really, really solid handholds, um, and I'm assuming, I did not climb this, that would be super awesome though, um, but I'm assuming here there's probably some really awesome handholds um, and cracks along there as well. So, Garden of the Gods in Colorado and uh, Sand Rock, Alabama are two examples of um, some popular sandstone climbing areas. The next one is limestone. So limestone is a sedimentary rock, but limestone was actually is actually created on the bottom, well, not necessarily the bottom of the ocean, but it's created in the ocean, using like the ocean floor and things like that. And so um, it's a little bit different type of sedimentary rock than um, the like sandstone would be if that makes sense so because it's made in the bottom of the ocean you can kind of tell that because of what it's made out of it's made out of calcium carbonate silica sand silt and clay 
Um, this rock is pretty hard, actually. Um, pretty close to granite, pretty hard. Um, a lot harder than sandstone, but it slowly dissolves with acid, uh, which actually includes normal rain. Since rain is slightly acidic, the rock over time will gradually dissolve. Obviously, the mountain's not just going to dissolve in one rainfall, but it gradually dissolves over time um, because of it, like just even in the rain, which is super interesting. Um, yeah, so limestone is known for vertical overhanging, oh, vertical overhanging cliffs, which are really, really great for sport climbing. I feel like those are those, these pictures of the people sport climbing that are like the silhouette and the sun's behind them and they're like have this really epic shot. I feel like that that's kind of what I picture when I think of like limestone. Um, these are some examples of variety of limestone. Um, this is like really dark and solid colored. This one's really light, which is crazy. They can be the same picture. And then this one is super, super chunky. I believe this one is phospholiferous limestone, which means that there's limes, there's within the limestone, there are actual fossils or like remains and prints of fossils, which makes it kind of like super rough in a way. Um, so yeah, that's limestone. And then some really kind of well-known or, or really cool places to rock climb if you guys want to go somewhere after the quarantine. Um, is Mount Charleston and then I guess that's how you say it over there. This is not in Charleston, South Carolina um, I forgot where it was. I can Google that for you though. Um, Mount Charleston and then Rifle Mountain Park um, And if you see I really really like this picture because kind of kind of like we said here's the here's the overhang that we talked about um, and if you can imagine because the rainwater I imagine they have caves and overhangs because of the acid rainwater and it probably like erodes out overhangs like this and um or caves like this and overhangs and things like that and so never been to these places they're super beautiful though um there's probably some really sick rock climbing i actually think this is i don't remember the name andy might but i think this is like one of the hardest routes at mount charleston but I don't remember if it is or not, but I think it is. Um, so yeah, this is super cool. And then, last but not least, there's ice. So, I'm making an argument that ice is a type of rock that you can climb. So, um, rocks are defined as naturally occurring solid mass of mineral or mineral-like matter, okay? So, okay, Ice is naturally occurring, it's a solid mass, and it's, okay, it's, it's a mineral-like, or it, it, I mean, it is, it is a mineral. Okay, well, what exactly would classify it as a mineral? Okay, so I'm in earth science right now, and this isn't literally in, like, our discussion. So geologists define mineral that it must be naturally occurring, water, um, inorganic, solid, ice, um, orderly crystalline structure, H2O, and a definite chemical composition. So with that, I'm making the argument that ice is a type of rock that you can climb. And we obviously know about rock climbing or about ice climbing, um, which I'm going to show you in a second. And so ice climbing is a type of rock climbing is the argument that I'm making. Um, and so here are some examples of ice climbing. This is Mammoth Lake, and I believe this is in California. Um, and so this is the, but really the picture I wanted to draw attention to, this is Sandstone, Minnesota. And I believe, I genuinely believe this is a sandstone um, area that people climb when it's not snowing. Uh, but because of the winter, it has turned into a ice climbing which is super super cool like you can just see all the colorful people like everybody's out here ice climbing getting a good practice it just looks like a really good spot because it's not super high you're not climbing um you're not like alpine climbing ice climbing it looks like some really cool really cool like good practice for the winter um so to review there are three categories of rocks which is sedimentary or igneous sedimentary and metamorphic and it kind of all moves into 
and within a rock cycle. And then there are some types that I focused on, which were granite, which is mostly what we climb in and that climb on, and that takes up most of the rock climbing rocks that we use. Um, and that's about 34%. And then there's sandstone, which I think is a personal favorite of mine. Um, and that's about 29%. I believe that was the percentage. Um, and that if we, you could potentially have the opportunity to climb somewhere like that if you just go to Sand Rock, Alabama, uh, which is super cool, or the Garden of the Gods, if you find yourself in Colorado. Um, and then limestone, which is not as popular as a as the other two, but I think it's super cool because it is a little more rare, but there are some still like pretty sick places to rock climb. Um, and there are still some really hard routes and beautiful places. And then lastly, ice, which I have argued that I think it also is a type of rock climbing um, because of the mineral structure of um, ice. So anyways, thank you for watching. Um, let me know if you have any questions about any part. Um, if you want to like put the time in the video that it was, I can like back back up and realize what I can clarify on. Um, so yeah, good luck guys.